Hey everyone! I was really nervous making this video. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna discuss uh, my attitude towards the follower count, my experience being an artist on Instagram. As I said, I was uh, really nervous making this video because, uh, you know, there, there is this voice in my head telling me if you tell people that you care about follower count, and they will think you're not a real artist, you do it for the followers, you're a loser, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I know that this voice in my head is wrong. Who cares, you know? And uh, for many artists, these feelings that I'm going to express here are true or similar feelings and have been experiencing similar things than I do. What I want to uh, talk about first is uh, some harsh truths about myself. Uh, maybe they are not harsh, I don't know, but they were harsh realizations for me when I came to them. I realized that I connect my value as a person with the value of my art. So if my art is not liked, that means I am no good, not as an artist, but as a person. You can see how wrong this sounds. A person's value is not connected to some kind of merit. You know, we are born with the same value. But in my head, for some reason, I am only valuable if my art is good. I don't think this about anybody else, but only about myself. You know, this sucks. Yeah, uh, I think it comes from my childhood, because uh, when I was growing up, I guess I was really good in art. You can have your say about that if you check my um, art evolution videos. I show some old drawings. I cannot tell if I was really good, but all the grown-ups around me, except for my parents, uh, were saying that I'm really good at it. So I got a lot of attention from this, from my art, you know a lot of attention and a lot of praise. And when you're a child, that feels like uh, you're getting love. You don't have this separation in your head. Oh, people appreciate what I do. You know, you're like, oh, somebody likes me, you know, because I do this. The connection is clear when you're a child, you know, it seems clear. It's like, if I don't do the drawings, I don't get the love, you know. So I guess that continues. In my adult life, I even had um, a guy I was dating like many years ago uh, who at one point told me that I was special. And when I asked why, he said my drawings. I don't remember the, co the conversation word by word, but that was the first thing he said. It's like that made me special that I was drawing. And I remember how I felt then. I felt like whoa, if I didn't have that, he wouldn't want to be with me. I have to have this. I have to do it because that makes me lovable. <laughs> that really, yeah, that feels bad. I think that um, actually it's not weird for somebody to say this, you know, because a lot of people who are not artists are really fascinated when you do art. I feel this way. I am very impressed and very like mind blown by people who do music because I think music is amazing, you know, and, and very special. Here, I said it. But, you know, to hear it from the person you're dating and to have been from an early age shown that your art gets you love. In my head was love, you know. It, it solidifies this notion. This is one of the things I wanted to say. In short, I felt through my life that my value as a person is the same as the value of my art. My art is not getting followers. You know, people don't care about it. That means I am no good. I am not lovable. Okay, so I started my Instagram account in 2018, uh, in March, almost five years ago. At the beginning, it felt really good because it was the first time since many years that I was sharing my art with many people. But at one point, you know, I started comparing myself to, to the others and especially to how much likes they get, how much followers they have. Somewhere between like 250 and 500 followers, which took me a lot of time. I will put on the screen how much time because I don't have it, the numbers right now. I was really fixated. I was really fixated on the on the number. The reason was what I said earlier about me feeling that my value is the value of my art. But I was telling myself, 
oh, you know, I want to have an online shop. For that, I need a following. It doesn't make sense to make a shop if I have like very few people because the shop also costs money, stuff like that. You know, this is my career I'm thinking about, you know. So, you know, that's why I care about the numbers, followers. You know, I was, I was telling this to myself because the other thing was too painful and I didn't realize it back then. Yeah, my brain just fed me this you know, more comfortable notion that I care because of the business reasons, you know. And I felt like, oh, when other artists see that I have these few followers, they think that my art sucks. It doesn't matter how the art looks, (laughs) what the art is, you know, and there is a logic behind this, you know, if you see a product that nobody's buying, you think maybe something's wrong with it, you know, that's psychology, you know, it it makes sense, but uh, it doesn't take into account how hard it is to reach the right people. You get just uh, swallowed by the ocean of content on the internet. This number, it doesn't say anything, It's it's not like Everybody on earth (laughs) saw your art and said, nah, no, thank you, you know. And even if they did, even if they did, so, you know. But when you feel that this nah, no, thank you is about you and not about just about your art, it's really painful, really painful. So, yeah, I was really fixated. When I hit 500 uh, followers, I remember I felt like I can rest a bit. You know, I made it. I made it to the 500. It's so sad. Then it started building up a bit faster, you know. Four or five months, I was gaining like 100. And I felt like I don't care that much anymore. And and actually, I was having conversations, working through myself, you know, working of resolving some of my issues about this kind of things and about myself as as an individual, you know, as a person. Some time passed uh, between 500 and 1000. I will put it again on the screen. And I remember when I saw the 1000 followers, it felt really good. That is the hard thing about art because art is about sharing, is about having conversation with the people, you know, is about giving a message. So the other people are a component of your art. This is my belief, personal belief about what is art. It includes the artist and the viewer. It cannot be only the artist. So it is important to have this conversation that is part of art. You have this complicated situation. Where is the balance, you know? But as I said, this is the key moment here. You know, you cannot entangle and connect your personal value, your value as a human being with the things you create. You cannot do that. That that is devastating. So yeah, when I saw this number, 1,000 followers, it felt really good. It felt like, oh, I did it, you know? This social media thing is not made with people's mental health and mental well-being in mind. And it's very important, in my opinion, to for us to be able to protect ourselves and realize when the effects of this platform are getting to us in a personal, very personal way. Everybody is different. I don't know how many people felt like me, that they va- their value as a person is the same as their value of their art. I'm sure there are a lot of many reasons people care about the following, but this is mine, or at least it used to be. And I really wanted to share it because I want this message to be out there for people who feel like me, or even for people who don't, but now they know. Okay, thank you so much for listening. This was very personal for me, but I'm happy to be sharing it. Drop some comments, what you think about this, and we can can have a discussion in the comment section. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.